second graders, today we are going to review the skill sequence of events. We have done this before, but it's always good to review skills. This skill deals with our reading comprehension. Did we understand what we read? And part of it is thinking of the events that happened in the story and the specific order that they happened in. So we've got two short passages to read together and to answer the question about the events and when it happened. So you can read along in your head as I read this one to you. Here we go. Mark went upstairs and got ready for bed. First, he brushed his teeth. After that, he put on his pajamas. Then he grabbed his teddy bear. Before he got into bed, he turned off the light. Now we see some time order words. Those are super helpful when we're doing sequence of events. We see words like first, after that, then. Those are words that you should look for when you're reading. The question asks us though, what happened right after Mark brushed his teeth? So he brushed his teeth way up here at the beginning of this little passage, and there were a few things he did after that. But they want to know what happened right after Mark brushed his teeth. So our strategy would be to find that event when he brushed his teeth, that's right there, and the sentence right after that says he put on his pajamas. So that is the event that he did right after brushing his teeth. Now this might be the same order that maybe you get ready for bed, but when we're answering questions on a text, we have to use the sentences that are in the text, not the order that you might do this in. Let's look at one more. Henry woke up early one morning and went downstairs. He went outside and dug a hole to bury his bone in. Later, he went to get a drink of water. Later, he took a nap in his doghouse. What did Henry do right before he took a nap in his doghouse? So now they're asking us to go back up into the story and think of something that happened before the given event. Now, I wondered when you heard this, if you visualized and if you made an inference as to who's Henry. Because when I read that first sentence, I pictured a boy or a man going downstairs. But the minute I read the second sentence, I heard this detail. He went outside and dug a hole to bury his bone in. That changed my mind. Okay, now I'm thinking, I know what this is. This is a dog. So the author didn't have to tell me that. I used the clues and my prior knowledge and I made an inference. But now back to our question. We have to find out when he took his nap in the doghouse, what did he do right before that? He did all of these events. The last thing he did was take that nap. So what did he do right before it? Let's look. Here is that sentence where he took his nap. I need to look right in front of it. Right in front of that, right before he took the nap, is he went and got a drink of water. So he did three things before that. He woke up and went downstairs. He went outside and buried his bone. Then he got his drink of water and then he took his nap. So right before the nap, I found that sentence, I looked right in front of it, and that's when he took that drink of water. So as you're reading, to help your comprehension, try to visualize these details, these events, in the order they're happening. It will also help you remember the story a lot better. Have fun reading today. I'll see you later.